hello and welcome to episode two of this vlogmas series in this episode i'm going to be wrapping a present for my boyfriend john i have his present right here and i also have my wrapping paper which is definitely not holiday themed but i love pink and i don't know if we have any christmas wrapping paper on hand so this is what i'm going to be using and i also have tape and scissors. John is a huge fan of Star Wars so this is a Christmas ornament that has the Mandalorian and little baby Grogu. Fun fact about myself, I have always loved wrapping gifts for as long as I can remember. I don't know, there's something very satisfying about it giving someone a really nicely wrapped gift. I also had an origami phase when I was a kid. There was a time where I mean, I would be in church or I would be somewhere and there would be like a pamphlet or a bulletin handed out and I would just go to town folding it up or ripping it to make a nice square so that I could make a paper crane or a fortune teller. There's just something about like working with paper to create something beautiful and I think that definitely rings true for me when I'm wrapping presents. Of course, all the work that goes into wrapping is undone when the person gets their gift and just rips the paper and throws it out, but it's always been something that's very enjoyable for me. Often, I will be designated as a present wrapper, usually by my mom. She has said, at least on one occasion, that she would rather clean a toilet instead of wrapping presents because she just finds it absolutely horrible. And so I gladly accept her request to wrap her presents or whatever she needs to get done. There's actually a very sweet children's toy store. I don't even know if it exists anymore. I really don't want to acknowledge the fact that it might have gone out of business. It was called Creative Kids Stuff and I remember going there to buy presents and just go shopping with my mom for daycare items because she used to be a daycare provider. Something I thought was so cool is they would ask you at the checkout counter if your purchase was a present for someone else and if you said yes they would ask if you wanted it gift wrapped. What always mesmerized me when I was there waiting at the checkout with my mom is how fast they would do the gift wrapping and how well they would do the gift wrapping. It was very professional, very clean, very colorful and fun. I swear they had some kind of like not potpourri, but like confetti that they would put in it too, and ribbons. It was just so cool, and I remember thinking, wow, that'd be a really cool job to have. You get to work at a kid's store, which I would think would be very uplifting and fun, and then you also get to wrap presents for people, which is right up my alley. Yeah, that's just a fun anecdote from my childhood that... I remember fondly and think about whenever I'm wrapping presents. This is actually going super fast. Sometimes it's really difficult to wrap things that are not boxes or don't have like right angles and corners. Sometimes I've wrapped things that are, I don't know, like football shaped or spherical and those, those don't usually turn out so pretty as boxed items, but it's still a challenge, which I like. And with that, I am done. <laughs> that took a very short amount of time, for me at least. Here it is, nice and pink and floral and not Christmassy at all, but honestly, I don't really think it matters too much because it's what is inside that matters, and I'm making up for it a little bit with these socks and to feature these. These are some very old holiday socks I have had for, oh my god, I don't even know how many years, but they are so old that they are like ripping in the back, whatever. I will wear them until they're unwearable. Who even knows what that means? I will just continue wearing them. So that is that. Thank you for stopping by. This was a very simple and easy, fun episode to do for Vlogmas. I will see you in tomorrow's episode. Take care.